And there was a moment of silence in memory of those who have lost, given their lives for our country. In Coeur d'Alene, the lake was the backdrop to a touching memorial service. Dozens gathered to pay tribute to those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our nation. And while many people put flowers and flags on headstones, one veteran sends his flowers into the water. KXOI 4's Anusha Roy tells us why. The wreath was put in Lake Coeur d'Alene to honor all of those that have been buried at sea. It's a tradition that has been around for decades and one that's near and dear to one World War II veteran's heart. They gathered to honor the men and women who have died in the line of duty, the people who put their lives on the line for our nation. They didn't get a chance to become fathers. I'm a father and a grandfather and a great-grandfather, and they had no chance to do that. This morning, dozens followed 86-year-old Jim Shepard to Lake Coeur d'Alene as he carried his flower wreath to the water, a wreath for his family, his colleagues, and men and women he's never met. It just seemed that we had uh, neglected to do those who were buried at sea. I uh, had a uh, cousin, John, who was, uh, he's on the eternal patrol in the Mariana Straits and never came home. And um, so I thought we should be doing something for him. Since the 1970s, Shepard gets up at 4 a.m. every Memorial Day. He handpicks the flowers from his garden and around his neighborhood. He wants the wreath to be fresh, the best, for the men and women who never made it home. I'm here and he's there. And why? And we'll never know the answer to that. But that's why I come. In North Idaho, Anusha Roy, KXLY4, HD News.